Hey folks, Irrational Loser here, and in today's survival Minecraft, we take on the weather, as well as building this Amethyst farm behind me. So let's get to it. Alright, so let's get going. The first thing I want to do today is actually build the Enderman farm. If you wonder what one it is, go check my channel out. Amazing. This little pest here was taking forever, but at least it's now working. Uh, what are you doing now? Thank you. So we have it. We now have a working Enderman farm. I can uh, now completely level up everything. Done. And we have an Enderman farm. We have an Enderman head. Nice. Love it done it's dusty thank you very much for that one okay anyway let's get out of here and talk about what else i want to get done so this one's for you that do not know and you are brand new to the channel remember to hit that like button and subscribe but if you seen the last episode you would have seen me working on a sugarcane and a bamboo farm for the fireworks. Now, I did mention in that video that I want to build an Aztec temple around it, just to give it the kind of jungle feel. Kind of cliche, I know, but you know what? After seeing this, I'm 100% with it. This thing is nuts. It takes about 3,000 of each type of block. There's also glow lichen on this, or lichen, whatever. And the, the whole hopper system is all set up. Tinted glass. There is 2,200 pieces of tinted glass in this. And um, to get tinted glass, you need four shards. Amethyst, amethyst, amethyst shards for every piece of glass. And you get two per recipe, so 42. So I need 4,000? 
Is that right? Get 2,000 pieces of glass. I need 1,000 pieces of glass and 4,000 amethyst, amethyst shards. But this is to just allow me to come in, have it all lit up and all safe and secure. This is perfectly safe, perfectly secure. Uh, that one. Yeah. The light levels, only, they all go to one. There is no red in this, so it's fine. And then I have all these set up for rockets and all that, and scaffolding and mob drops. Uh, for some reason, I'm not getting spider eyes. Is that only possible from player kills? I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this thing. Let me know what you think down in the comments if this is an amazing build. And I think this one's going to be such a big build that we'll need to live stream a lot of it. Because I'm not even finished. Because I want the nether portal to be situated here. And I want a big platform for it. But yeah, this is nuts. So I hope you like the idea of the Aztec temple. That's going to take us a while to get to. So we do actually need to get something sorted. And one of those is the amethyst shards. I need two and a half shulker boxes to fill this up and then I just need a buttload of glass so I need lots to do that efficiently we need to set up an amethyst shard farm and the only way I can do that is by digging and one of the bigger amethyst shard places that I have down in here is huge it's absolutely huge I think there's at least 25 buds for it to grow out of so I'm, I'm extremely happy for that the only problem is it's in all this deep slate stuff and i want to get rid of this stuff fairly quickly and i forgot i had this on so this this is it here i've already started clearing it out just so i could get some buds and when i said 25 i meant there's like 25 some of these are terrible things that just spawn which is annoying but this thing is huge so i want to build a farm around this and it needs water and things so i can kind of go up to here i don't mind losing a few of the the bud things just to make this farm more efficient but i need a lot of stuff for this and i need to clear it out but i wanted to get a weather and I wanted to do it a bit easier and quicker so I need a beacon I need a beacon it goes right in the middle here it should it should fit fairly well enough and cover it it should fit fairly well and cover enough of the area to not have to worry about it if I can somehow find the middle and get down Yes, yeah, so I already have a spot out and ready to go with it, but I do not have any wither skulls. So I need to go and kill some withers, get some skulls, and go and fight the wither itself. This will be fun. Okay, we're in the nether. I... have not got bones. Oh, but we have some skellies. Come. Now, I did learn a trick about these that I thought, really? Really? You're going, you're going to do this to me right now? Uh... Where'd he go? Huh? Right, I'm going to put myself in a safe space here. How did you just manage that? Oh, he must have fell down there. Well, that's annoying. Because that was some really good weathers that I had there. Let's go and see if we can find some more then. I do want to build a wither skeleton farm. But that will take me a wee while and it will be another episode, I think. Probably next episode. Just so I can get everything sorted. Because I will need to find a specific biome and a nether fortress for that to work perfectly. And the only 
place I can see is over there. Yeah, so the only biome is over there. And probably would be a good idea if you sort of scout out just now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just go scout that out. And we'll see if we can find it. Alright, I had to go and get some rockets. But there is a Soul Sand Valley Fortress in this direction. It's about a thousand blocks. But... We should be able to get there fairly easy. He says as he's crashing. Okay, this is a dead end. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to go right all the way around. So I need to go to X75. That's the wrong way in. No, no I'm going too far. Is that what it is? No. X75. Ah, should be in here then. No, okay. Oh, I see something else. Woo! That was nice. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. Ah, there it's here. And there's a guest. Gotcha. That's a lot of blizzies. But one thing I do see is lots and lots of other skeletons. So let's jump up, secure ourselves just a little bit. Somehow. I don't know how yet. Oh, right, yeah. Oh. Oh! No way, we actually got a skull for that. Nice. Right, so I need to find a security place. I think in here is going to be better for us. There's a blizzard. Right, let me see, because I can close myself in here. Oh. I bought myself a wee safe haven right here because I am dying. I don't know why. <laughs> I just need to try and get them down now. Because I'm expecting there to be loads. The problem is just try to find them now. Because I think now that I've, I'm here, spawning rates are going to be rubbish. And it might just be a case that I need to run around. And hope for the best. Yeah, and I think setting up these be safe, have, safe havens as well is going to be really beneficial. So I'm going to need some blocks and things. Maybe I could just grab a whole load of nether rack. Anyway, let's go and try and get a whole load of skulls. Oh no! Oh no! Is that actually just happened? Where is my spare elytra? I don't know what's worse, the fact that I died or the fact that I had three skulls. Or even worse, the fact that all three skulls, I don't even know if they work. Because one of them had MVT tags. I don't know if that works. Now the problem is getting back without dying. Yeah, this just isn't scary. Not one bit. I've got about 500 blocks left to go. I... I don't know if we're gonna make it. I hope we make it, but like... Oh, there's a ghast. Oh no, there's another one somewhere. Go away, you crying little things. Right, we have 100 blocks to go. It is there. 
Go. No, no, go away. I, I heard the fireballs. Yep, those ones. Give me the food. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> ah, how did you, how did you hit me? I need to be extremely wary because something can hit me. Jeez Louise. Right. <sighs> Do I still have everything? Yes, including this special one. Oh, right here. Right, well, the super dangerous area is super dangerous. Who would have thunk, eh? Ooh. Oh, bombs! safe enough at this distance that if I go back they should have despawned and de aggroed basically. Fingers crossed. Ooh, there's a guy there. Right, I thought nothing else was supposed to spawn in the Soul Sand Valley, just skeletons. Or am I misremembering in this? Which to be honest with you is highly plausible. I do misremember a lot. Ow! How did you get me through all the way over there? I don't want to fire that. Ooh. Oh, there's a spawner there. Ouch. Oh, you're powerful, bull. And that guy's still there. And there's a new guy there. Ow! 
Oh, go away. Like, seriously not fair. Ouch. <gasps> God's sake. Like, I'm actually annoyed. Where am I going? Down. I was going to the end there. That's how boggled my brain is. Oh, could you imagine having to try and find all that in the end? Oh, that... Where am I going? Right, is it kind of the same... Pl uh, yeah. Same place -ish. I know where the bouts is, so... It shouldn't be too bad. And I've got food this time. Because I'm not an idiot. Well, I'm an idiot, but... That's just... That's just me. I should just give up. Right, we made it this time. And I think we should... I, I think we should leave, but, but I can't really without knowing whether or not this will work. So I think I need to go test this just real quick and I should be back less than two seconds yep that worked all right to cheese the weather very simple you come into the end build a square like this and you find zero zero which is the middle of the portal and you create a wee platform like this we're going to place down our soul sand like this jump up to the top and we're going to cover this area like this with some obsidian and this hopefully stops the weather from escaping if it ever does fingers crossed I don't need to worry about it and then we add our skulls run hide and make sure it doesn't hurt us and wait for it to explode like that oh yeah right eye cool I'm gonna die by Enderman all right and then you can come round and start attacking it as you can see, it did rise, and if the obsidian wasn't there, it would have escaped. Because it doesn't always go into the middle of the portal, which is really annoying. And it's something you need to be very, very wary of. But it's easy kill after this, and we get the, the other stuff. Perfect. Now we have our beacon, and we also have a place to kill them very easily if we need more and we can just jump up here jump through and we're done we now have a beacon well i need some glass i need a bit of iron i need a crafting table we can make a beacon we can run all the way down to our mine take off the torch stick the beacon down and stick a piece of iron in and give us his two permanently now which is awesome because trying to mine all this is really really annoying anyway let's get this place cleared <coughs> anyway on to our next stop now which is bones it's an arm armethyst oh my it's the amethyst, am, 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 oh, it's the amethyst farm. I would get there in the end. Bones. And with these last few blocks, I'm done. And I think I underestimated how many blocks are in this. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's nuts take them off 
Yeah, jeez. Like, I thought there was a door. I missed the block. Nice. But I thought there was like 20. I think there is verging on 40 buds. That, that's just sh stupid amount. And I haven't even went this way because I just, I'm so far across already. Like, this is all my strip mining platforms. And I'm already all the way over to here. And I'm going to be taking this all out as well when I get it. I might not. I might just leave the glass there and work around it. But, yeah, this is nuts. I'm actually in so much shock because of how much this is here. I now need to go and get a whole load of glass to frame it, uh, some kelp and a couple of bo and a couple of buckets of water. So one of the first things I had to do was head over to the Bad Omen farm, grab some Bad Omen 5. Now I have to do this several, several times. Head on over to the raid farm again and again and again, getting a load, a load of emeralds. Took those emeralds, went and bought so much glass. Like, unbelievable amounts of glass. And then I had to go and install this into the, the, the farm. And this is, as you can see, is me finally finishing. Before I then take on the monumental task of filling this all up with water. Now this took me forever. A couple of days just to get through it. And it was so annoying because of all of the because of all the ear pockets the amethyst clusters created but finally got it done and it's done oh my gosh this took so long to do i've completely filled it with water had to go in with extra buckets to try and fill in bits and pieces that these clusters took away and it just looks amazing so many buds, I'm saying there's over 40 here, uh, but I have destroyed a few with my pickaxe because it is so fast and powerful that I now need to go and get a one that's a bit worse. So an iron pickaxe with Fortune 3 on it and mending, it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to get that and then I need to kind of clear all this out again, all the buds. I'm about halfway complete just by doing this, so that's a good thing. 